As we mentioned earlier, many families are spending the 4th of July at Coney Island. For years, it's been a seaside getaway for people looking to get a break from city living. Michael Gargiulo takes a look at Coney Island's long history with New Yorkers. Yes, it really was once an island. Coney Island Creek separated it from the rest of Brooklyn until about a century ago when the creek started to be filled. Coney Island remained a remote outpost until the 1820s when the first of what would become many luxury hotels was built. With the arrival of the first railroad after the Civil War, it turned into the Hamptons of its time. In the early 1900s, it saw the creation of the amusement parks that made Coney Island world famous. First, Steeplechase Park with its motorized horse track. Then Luna Park with its visit to the moon. Luna Park was lit at night by hundreds of thousands of light bulbs. Dreamland tried to become the third, but it burned down before it was even completed. The Cyclone opened in 1927, and it's still considered one of the world's great roller coasters. By the time it opened, the subway was extended to Coney Island, bringing record-breaking crowds. Just seven years earlier, the steel-framed Wonder Wheel rose near the Atlantic with its rocking cars. Another famous ride, though, didn't arrive until 1941, the Parachute Jump. It was actually moved to Coney Island from the 1939 World's Fair in Queens. Three, two, one, put one. down your hot dogs! Nathan's Famous still has its annual July 4th hot dog eating contest. The eatery opened at Stillwell and Surf Avenue back in 1916. But it wasn't Nathan Handworker who introduced the Frankfurter on a bun to the U.S. That was Nathan's old boss whose restaurant once stood nearby. Believe it or not, in the early 1920s, you could get two hot dogs, fries, and a soft drink, all for a quarter. The automobile and the state parkway system are cited for Coney Island's fade from glory. Urban guru Robert Moses made it easier for New Yorkers to drive to a cleaner, less crowded, less commercial Jones Beach. Today, Coney Island is at a crossroads. You know, in many ways, it seems the same. The beach is still packed because for most New Yorkers, it's still just a subway ride away, an affordable way to beat the heat. And the boardwalk, still crowded as well. The shops are still doing business. And after all these years, the Wonder Wheel is still spinning. The city is battling for 10 acres owned by Thor Equities. Each side envisions its own urban renewal project with amusement rides. The city's version includes a 10-acre park. Michael Gorgiulo, News 4 New York. I remember my first trip to Coney Island, yeah. the subway, and then a bus to the... I was like, are we ever... Tired, you got there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, are we there yet? <laughs> Anywho.